the, 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 uh, this, this was an anecdote about the AA when I was teaching in, the, in third year, a long, rather long time ago. People in the unit were, were guys like Stuart Beatty and George Kasaboff. There was about 20 of them, all like that. You know, it was absolutely intimidating. Uh, Richard Rogers was one, just 20 like this, you know, all about six foot tall and, and so big. <clears throat> and, and, and one day they, they cornered me. I sort of taught them by tearing up their schemes and saying they're not worth talking about, you know. And in the end, they sort of, um, they got so rather frightened about it. They, but in, I remember on one occasion when they crowded, crowded in on me and they demanded from me. At that time, there was a very unclear idea of what architecture was about, kind of like now. And they demanded of me an explanation uh, 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 of what architecture was directed at. And I had no idea, you know, absolutely no idea. But I had to eat and... <laughs> I knew it was expected of me, and in, in, a, in desperation, I, I said, it's, it's, about, it's to do with the search for truth. And we were all terribly embarrassed, you know. <laughs> <coughs> um, I was, you know, they all hung their heads, you know. <laughs> and because it had this sort of evangelical ring about it, you know, it was sort of, sort of it was, it was sounded pretty self-righteous and Christian. But, but, but cu cu curiously, it's, it's, it's rather near the mark, you know, <laughs> that, that, that one, you know, one mustn't apologize. You mustn't apologize for being young. You know, it's something one can't help. You know, you've got to, you've got to live with it. And so these things come out. But time is not your right. And it, it really wouldn't, if pressed, it wouldn't, greatly differ from my uh, interpretation of what architecture is about now, because I do think, having it been demand, it, having had it demanded of me, that, that architecture is the dialectic between classical and modern architecture, the, uh, the, the dialectic between classical and modern architecture, the dialectic between the rational and the subjective. I think it's a stress you know, between these two polarities in the background to what one is doing is an immense classical tradition. And in one's mind is the tenseness of the dialectic between modern theory and that, the continual attempt to re relate the two and make them have some meaning.